we're asked to find the sequence generated by the following generating functions. For a, we have g of x equals 2x divided by the quantity 1 plus x. Let's write g of x as g of x equals 2x times 1 divided by the quantity 1 plus x. Now looking at the table of generating functions, 1 divided by the quantity 1 plus x is equal to the infinite series 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed and so on. Recall we found this generating function by substituting negative x for x into the generating function for the constant sequence of ones. In our case, we can write g of x as g of x equals 2x times, again, 1 divided by the quantity 1 plus x is equal to the infinite series 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the fourth and so on. And now if we distribute the 2x, we have g of x equals 2x minus 2x squared plus 2x cubed minus 2x to the fourth and so on. And now we can determine the sequence. We need to be careful though, there is no constant term. This indicates the first term in the sequence is zero and then we have two, negative two, two, negative two and so on. For part b, we have g of x equals three divided by the quantity one minus four x. Let's write g of x as g of x equals three times one divided by the quantity one minus four x. Now going back to the table, notice the function one divided by the quantity one minus four x can be found by substituting four x for x in the function one divided by the quantity one minus x, which means we can determine the infinite series of one divided by the quantity one minus four x by substituting four x for x in the infinite series for one divided by the quantity one minus x, which indicates g of x is equal to three times, again, substituting four x for x in the infinite series for one divided by the quantity one minus x, we have one plus four x to the first plus the square of four x plus the cube of four x and so on. And now we'll simplify and distribute three. We have three times the quantity one plus four x plus 16 x squared plus 64 x to the third and so on. And now distributing three, we have g of x equals three plus 12 x plus 48 x squared plus 192 x cubed, and so on. From here we can determine the sequence. The sequence is 3, 12, 48, 192, and so on. For C, we have g of x equals x divided by the quantity one minus x. Let's rewrite this as g of x equals x times one divided by the quantity one minus x. One divided by the quantity one minus x is equal to one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot dot dot, which gives us g of x equals x times one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot dot dot. Distributing x, we have g of x equals x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth plus dot dot dot. From here we can give the sequence. Again, there is no constant term. The first term of the sequence is zero and then we have a sequence of ones. And for the last example, we have g of x equals five x divided by the square of one plus x. We can write this as g of x equals five x times one divided by the square of one plus x. Now looking at our table, notice how we don't have the generating function of one divided by the square of one plus x. We have the function one divided by the square of one minus x, which means to find the infinite series for one divided by the square of one plus x, we need to substitute negative x for x into the infinite series for one divided by the square of one minus x. So this would give us g of x equals five x times the quantity 
one plus two times negative x plus three times the square of negative x plus four times the cube of negative x and so on. Let's go ahead and simplify. We have g of x equals five x times, we have one minus two x plus three x squared minus four x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Next, we distribute five x. This gives us g of x equals five x minus 10 x squared plus 15 x cubed minus 20 x to the fourth plus dot, dot, dot. And now we can write the sequence. Because there is no constant term, the first term of the sequence is zero. And then we have five, negative 10, 15, negative 20, and so on. I hope you found this helpful.